This video will show you how to set up the blog feature on your teacher web page. So the first thing you want to do is log in to edit your site. And then go to My Applications. You may have some features activated already. Um, the blog one I'm going to find under Show Inactive Sections here at the top. And there are other things like the calendar and podcasts that you might want to try. Um, under my blog here, I'm going to first turn it on. And now it's become active. And I'm going to click on Maintain Blog. Mine has several already that I've used in the past, but yours will probably be blank if this is the first time you've used it. And you'll want to click on Add New Blog. You can give it a title. So I'll call this one Reading Blog. And then this would be where your first post would go. And I'm just going to put something in there right now. And we'll go back to it in a minute. So question one would go here. You can give it a password if you'd like your blog to be password protected. And you can give a little bit of a description about what, uh, what you'll find in the blog. Down here, this is very important for the teacher. You can, um, you'll want to probably allow people to comment if you're, if you want your students to be able to interact on the blog, um, and then you can decide whether you want to automatically authorize comments or whether you want to review them before uh, you they go live. So you may want your students to be able to see their posts right away, and in that case, you you won't want to authorize the comments. But if you want to keep an eye on what they're posting and review them each time that something has been added you can uh, require it to have an authorization by you. You can also put your email address in here so that each time um, something has been added to the blog, you'll get an email um, letting you know. Depending on how often you use it, this might be helpful as well. Okay, click Next. And I'm going to go back over here to uh, maintain blogs again. And the one that I just added down here at the bottom, reading blog, you can see that I added one post. And I'm going to click on that. And you can see that it was posted on um, today's date, May 25th. And this was the question that we put. You can change this in case you want to set up all of your questions ahead of time, but you don't want all of them to come up on the same day. So perhaps you have something due one week and then something due the next week and the next week and you know what those questions are ahead of time. You can change the dates here so that only one question appears at a time. That's sometimes, that is helpful for um, students to be able to know where they are and what they need to do next. So if I want to take a look at what this looks like on my site, I'm going to click on View Site. And then go over to the blog. I changed the title there before. And Reading Blog. And there's my question. And now students can click on Comment, put their name. I usually tell them they can leave the email section blank. And then they can type their answer to your question. Type the numbers that are required and click post. So this is where their answer would go. Put the numbers in. And then since I had set it up to automatically authorize comments, I can see that comment right away.